These are called ghost berries. I don't eat them. First Nations people that didn't like them um, didn't eat them because they believed it brought on bad spirits. Hey folks, I'm on another uh, project go and see and uh, behind me here, this is uh, called the Rock of Gibraltar and uh, I'm at Paul Lake, just uh, 20 kilometers or so out of Kamloops and uh, behind me, behind that rock there, there is a campground. Currently it's closed but uh, in 2002 there was a sighting here and I'm just out seeing if I can find any structures or if I can find any uh, evidence that maybe Bigfoot has been here. I don't think don't think they're here now because it was so long ago but I'm I always go and I look and I can tell a sign if it's old or structures or whatever but just want to you guys to join me here and go on a little hike and see what we can come up with. Um, we may come up with nothing, but we may with come up with some things that have interest. So you don't know, you can't tell by sitting on the computer watching YouTube videos what's in your neighborhood. So out oh, here I am, and this is local to me, and uh, I didn't have to travel too far to get here. Uh, I was here a week ago and there was so much snow, but uh, the snow's all gone. So I'm going to, uh, going to continue down this trail and I'm going to do some bushwhacking and see what I can get. The land here is really steep on both sides of this lake but what I'm going to do is uh, there's a saddle by that mountain behind me, that rock of Gibraltar and I'm going to uh, go into the swale there and I uh, research this area on Google Earth. So well join me. I'd love to bring you along and let you explore with me so we'll see ya when, if I find anything of interest I will uh, turn the camera back on but uh, until later folks we'll talk to you soon BRB adventure out for now bye bye here's a curious structure I'm thinking kids though because there's a, this is a very popular trail and there's houses behind me, so more than likely kids built this. Here's the other side of it, but as you can see, across the lake, there's houses. So, I think this was built by sandwich grabbers. Another little shelter, probably kids. Rose hips, wild rose hips. They're uh, good even in the middle of winter time. You just eat the skin. It has a kind of a pulpy center. It's not very palatable and large seeds, but the skin's very edible. These are called ghost berries. I don't eat them. First Nations people that didn't like them um, didn't eat them because they believed it brought on bad spirits. So, um, I don't think they're poisonous. I just, they might not be very palatable, but uh, they're called ghost berries or snow berries. 
but uh, eat them at your own risk I guess so walking along and I see this on the side of the trail that's what someone called an asterisk it's an X with other ones woven into it but when you look at the stumps they're all attached that one's attached that one back there is attached and this one's attached this is a natural asterisk I don't see any brakes or any other barriers set up but I'm gonna explore this area further I'm gonna go in deeper well folks it's been a uh, it's been uh, a pretty uh, lackluster day uh, the adventure is only uh, minorly intriguing I've uh, I would have liked to have found a whole lot more than what I did but you, know, you take what you can get and uh, so I'm gonna close this off here BRB adventure on a ending a day of another hike uh, well an outdoor adventure found a couple of things but I didn't uh, find as much as I was hoping to but maybe next time it'll be it'll be better I'll keep looking for uh, interesting things to find on my hikes kind of got beat by a mountain today I uh, I should have uh, not have underestimated how steep it was going in there and I've been spending too much time behind the computer and not on the trails that's all my fault but thanks for watching if you like this video please uh, don't be afraid to comment share it and uh, give it a like uh, appreciate it. it means a lot when uh, when the people that watch the videos uh, interact but so thanks very much for watching my video I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you the next time I go out folks